Now I'm going to show you how to use LaTeX to prepare your lab reports. LaTeX is a typesetting language that allows us to create documents using templates so that when we write a new document, we're focused on the content and the text of that document, not the actual font and margins and typesetting and all that stuff. So we provide LaTeX templates for each lab report in the course repository that you've already cloned from GitHub. So what we can do now is update that repository and grab any new files that we have uh, to do new lab reports or new lab activities. So we'll open up a console and we'll change to our CSC 2100 folder that should have already existed there if you've cloned the repository. Um, we'll use CD to go within that directory. And now that we're in here, we can issue the command git pull. This will automatically go to GitHub and it'll download any new updates and uh, basically put those files in this directory. You can see here we're already up to date, so um, we're good there. So what I want to do uh, is open up a browser now and here's my 2100 folder in my home folder. I'll go to this directory and there's a folder called lab reports. In lab reports, you'll have a zip file for each of the 10 lab reports that you'll do throughout the, uh, the course. So we can see here we have a lab report one dot zip. Um, so now we have uh, basically everything that we need to complete the first lab report. So the next thing we're going to do is use a web based service called Overleaf. Uh, Overleaf requires an account and it's free. I think you get one gigabyte of storage or something like that. Um, so you'll want to create an account here and log in, and then we'll use Overleaf and the web browser to actually create the document. Once you're signed into Overleaf, you'll want to create a new project using the template for whichever lab report it is that you're doing. So you click here on this uh, new project button, upload zip, and then that'll bring you to a um, file dialog where you can basically select a file to upload. So we're going to click on choose file and then we're going to go to home CSE 2100 lab reports and we're going to select the zip file for our lab report, which in this case is lab report one dot zip. So now that Overleaf has created our document, we're actually ready to fill in all the blanks. So on the left, um, this is what LaTeX uh, text language actually looks like. So it's kind of similar to HTML. It's a markup sort of a language, but this contains all the um, all the content for the document, all of the uh, formatting and all of the uh, fonts and um, text sizes and all that. And over here on the right, this is uh, what your document is going to look like when it's actually compiled. So in this case, we're going to generate a PDF and that PDF is going to be updated every time we make changes over here in real time so we can see what our document is going to look like. So you want to go here and scroll through the document. First, you're going to want to enter in your name. So if you go down, um, you can see a field where we have Ellen, Ellen Ripley right now as a placeholder and also the title of the lab and all that. You can change these uh, data fields here, um, just the black text. And uh, don't mess with any of the markup, any of the actual um, commands here, like slash author or the uh, braces or anything like that. So once all of that data is put in, um, be sure to put your uh, partner in there as well. Um, the date you performed the lab and then your name and your partner's name in this field that will be updated over here. So you will scroll down here to the actual content sections of the document, and this is where you're entering your responses to the questions. You don't need to change anything on the objective. Uh, that's going to be given for the lab assignment, but you will need to go through here and fill out the definition section. So we're asking you to define, um, just in a sentence or two, a few words and a few terms from uh, the lab activity that you did. And then you'll go down here to other sections, and basically enter your responses here. So the question is already typed in the document. So question number one here is what version of the Linux kernel is running on your Pi? And then we give you a hint on how to actually uh, figure that information out. You just enter in a console command. And then once you, um, once you do that and you, you know, are able to answer the question, you'll enter your response and you'll replace this text where it says replace this text with your response. Once you're happy with the content of your document and how it looks over here in the preview, you can generate the final PDF by clicking on the PDF button up here at the top. This will generate the actual document, automatically download it to your computer in the downloads folder, and then show you the final preview here. So we're happy with how it looks, so we'll hit quit, and then we will go back to our file browser here and we'll click in the downloads folder, and then that's the copy of our document that we can open and inspect again. So once this is complete, you're ready to submit your lab report on Blackboard, and that's all you have to do.